All right, guys, what's happening? We are at 360 Customs. We are doing part two of our dino tune. If you remember or if you watched the last part one, if you haven't seen that, make sure you check that out. Where we got the dino, and we almost got the dino done on pump gas, but the clutch couldn't hold it. So we couldn't finish that, and we're hoping to get on the E85 tune today. So that's what's up today. I'm really pumped, really excited. I got the new clutch in, the Monster LT1S. So I don't think we're gonna have any issues there. So we're really gonna put it back on the rollers and hope that everything goes well and we'll wrap this dyno session up. So let's get to it. And we're at the shop. got the car all cooled off so we're pretty much ready to go I think I'm next in line all right so we're all ready car is all set Ready to make some numbers, people. Yes, we are. Nice and cool down. Ready to wake this beast up here soon. Shit, really? Yeah. You saw it like come down or at the higher RPM? Yeah. Is it on the Three, 
617 tour. Well guys, it was an exciting but also disappointing session. Yep, it was exciting because it made 643 horsepower and 617 torque to the wheels on pump gas. That's 93, 643. I think he said it was about 12 pounds of boost way more vicious than I ever expected. I was hoping around 620, 630 on pump. 643 is crazy. Now for the bad news. First of all, there's gonna be a part three to this video because we never got the E85 numbers again. The clutch held amazing. The clutch was, was great. And in fact, the lower numbers last time was due to the clutch slipping, we, we figured that out. So this thing was, it pumped out about another pound of boost. And, uh, but the power steering bracket broke. Uh, so I've got the Dirty Dingo uh, CTSV F-Body Conversion Kit, uh, the eight rib kit. And for some reason, I guess when you put that much power into it, I don't know, I just called them, they said they never had this issue again. Uh, so I really need to pull it all out and see what's going on, but I'm pretty sure I saw it's a crack on the power steering bracket and so the pulley and I'll try to record some in a minute see if we can uh, find, see if I can show you guys this so the so the pulley was slightly bent in and for that reason that kind of explains the belt issues because I never had really had belt slipping issues with this car we'll pull it apart for this for the power steering bracket I'll check it out, see what's going on with it. And then he said, just bring it back and uh, <laughs> we'll do some numbers. He did say he felt like it's gonna be like 690 to 700 uh, horsepower. That's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be insane. <laughs> I mean, 690 to 700. So let me show you here what we have going on. I don't know if you can see it, it's tilted like it's tilted like this. Like that.
think here you can see it best where it's kind of cocked. You just kind of look down it. You can see it's like this. And the bracket, it's definitely cracked. I can see it, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get you guys in there. Yep, there it is. It's gonna be right in there. Right in there. You can see it. See a little shiny piece, a little bit there. Oh, man. So you can see there where it's cocked out.